So lately I've gotten this question a lot on my uh, messages, and it's how did I get my hair like this? Now I know there's already a lot of videos of this out there, which make it quite simple, because that's how I learned. Um, it's really simple. You can start out in, you don't even have to pay actually. You can do it at any type of uh, stage of your hair, besides bald. As long as you have a hair more than about an inch to two inches of hair. And the reason that is is because if it's too short, the sections won't form. And if it's, well, also if it's too big, if you have too much hair, the sections also may not form correctly. And it may take longer or shorter, you know, depending on the, the process. But we're going to talk about the two types of ways, which is how I did it. And then how I transitioned to the next one. So the first one will be the sponge method, which is where, you know, you just, it's the, it's the most common method. Just circles all over. And you just keep doing that in like routine base or, you know, however you feel until they start to form, which is these little sections right here. As you can see, I have a lot because one, I had picked the sponge with a lot of holes. This side of it rather. It's all beat up. <clears throat> and two, because I just chose I wanted a lot of dreads. This is my first time too. Well, it's not actually my first time. It's actually my third time. The first time I started with a brush. You can get one of those little bristle brushes, like the hard ones, from like AGB or something like that, for like maybe five dollars. And then it's it's the same thing with this. You just in circles. Now you might not get, like I said, you might not get what you want because the circles aren't already on there. They like essentially give you the uh the sections you want, but they will still form. And it's just because of the bristles. And it's the same thing with the towel method, you know, but except it's more of a hit or miss with how many you have. With the towel method, it's really just essentially again how big you make your, your the circles. The smaller ones are going to have more, the bigger ones are going to have less. But you're going to have bigger dreads or you're going to have smaller dreads, really. Now what I did was I really just did a transition. So me, I started in May of 2021 in around the end of it. I think around May 25th was when I started my third round because my first round, and these are some pretty cringy pictures, I'm not even going to lie, but still. My first round, like that, let it focus, was with the brush. As you can see, you can see them forming right there, but not completely. I also didn't get an edge up, so I was looking kind of, kind of crusty. I'm not going to lie. But I kept it there for about a month, but I wasn't doing it quite correctly. In fact, I was actually all over the place, really. And I had to take them out and I had to restart. I actually had to cut them off. But that didn't adhere to me because in October of 2020, I did it again. And that's what it looks like. This time I kept them in for about a week. And then I just, I lost motivation completely. I, I was pretty much really impatient. You really need to have patience with these types of methods because if you don't, you're not gonna like, it's not going to stick with you. You're not going to want to continue going with it, which makes sense. It's really just dedication. So yeah, I took them out again. And then, once again, if I can find it, in May 28th, which is when I took the next picture, I did the... Uh, Oh crap, hold up. My bad. I did the uh, sponge method. That was when I had got one of these from the uh, hair, hair place around the corner here. The, uh, they had a bunch of sponges. I was like, hmm, maybe I should try it one more time, see if I can do it. And I did. I got a sponge. I wet my hair, which I would recommend I do first. You know, get one of these. Start spraying it on your hair a bunch before you start because if you don't it's going to be rough and you might start pulling out hair which is uh going to contribute to hair loss and you know mess them up and uh yeah pretty much from then on it was just a waiting process it was a consistency thing 
There's patience, consistency, and waiting. Essentially, I started in around, like I said, around May. And then I took a picture, you know, at the end of it to like show my progress. Then on June 4th, I had got a, a I got the sides cut. And you can see that they actually formed a little bit more. If I could, you could see that they formed a little bit more, but they were still technically still called twists. At the moment, they were really just tightly woven together. They weren't actually tangled because I could actually take them out still. It had been a month though. It had been the first month. And at that time I hadn't washed my hair at all. You shouldn't wash your hair for at least one month. Uh, prior to first getting them with a sponge or towel or brush, whatever method you use, or your hand, because you can actually do it with your hand too, you shouldn't wash your hair within that first month. Because if you wash your hair within that first month, most likely they're going to come undone. And if they come undone, all that work you did in that time span before the month ends is gone, and you got to restart. And that sucks. That sucks completely, because that has happened to me, which is one of the reasons why I had lost motivation for a while. But, yeah, you just got to keep on, just keep the process going and going and going. Here's a better picture. It's actually a closer up. It's really small. I had started when my hair was maybe like not even an inch tall. I had got a haircut and then I waited maybe three weeks, three, four weeks. It was really short and I had a lot of bald spots in... <laughs> It didn't look good at all. It, it really didn't. It looked clownish, terrible, really. And I got roasted for it, which was kind of funny. But uh, now we're coming into... Uh, I can find a good picture. Now we're coming into the end of June, which is this one. And you can see that they're actually forming better. You can see that I have that split in between my hair, which is signifying the, uh, the, uh, oh, I already forgot what they're called, the sections. But they were still really tiny and they, they weren't really matured yet. By the way, you follow me on Instagram. If you want to see these pictures for yourself, you can actually just follow me on Instagram. It's AFK underscore Chris with a Z at the end. I'll put it down in the link below. <clears throat> But at this point, I was really just taking pictures, maybe like every every week or so, to like gauge the pro like the the progress. And uh, after the first month, I was starting to see progress. They didn't they don't hang low until maybe about good six months in. I'm about to be ten months in because I'm it, it's currently March twenty second right now, three days away from. Uh, when I originally first first started these so I'm about to be 10 months in and soon about to be a year and then like two months which is crazy because time flew by <laughs> it flew by but uh yeah and moving on to the next one we get into July and I'm not gonna lie this was probably the most cringy photo I had taken. If I can find it. I'll be back. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I try to get people to stay as quiet as possible when I record these videos, even though it's dead at night right now. <clears throat> that should tell you something. But uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. We were at this point. I was in July, and my hair didn't look that much different. I'm actually not going to show it because, like, it doesn't look that much different. It looks the same as it did in June, around like latest June. So yeah, I'm not gonna. But I will skip to. I will skip to September, in fact, which is this photo right here. Now you can see that it it has grown. It has grown, and it is showing more of a. Uh, it the the dread look is actually showing more. You can see like the top, the sides. That was in that was the beginning of September. Then we get to around mid to late October, and 
it's coming out quite nice, really. I, I liked it. It wasn't really long like these right now. These, I, mm, the longest one goes about... About there. That's the longest one. And then I have it. It's the same over here. Longest one goes about right there. But yeah. At this point, it was really just forming. Pretty much they were just like forming and molding, you know, getting tangled up. I don't really think they were like growing much. I was getting hang time at this point though. It was like slowly, slowly showing. The hang time was coming in, stuff like that. But I, I wasn't really doing like any like major twisting with like the sponge at this time because I was still using the sponge. I didn't stop using the sponge till mid year, maybe like November. Um, I was really just letting them grow, do their thing. I wasn't really messing with the sponge at all. I think I started doing it maybe like once every three weeks and at this point, and it's mostly because I forgot, but that's because I wanted them to, to uh, like start forming and stuff, doing it on their own, do their own thing. I'm trying to get that one right there, there we go. I was really trying to just get them to do their own thing. And uh, I just let, I just, I, you honestly just gotta trust the process. And that's what I did. And I, and here we are from January 11th. I had skipped a few months. I didn't post for November, December. I just, just let it grow. And that was five months in, by the way. That October picture, that's, that's five months in. Then we get to January 11th. And this is where you can see they actually start forming. You can, um, <clears throat> in this one, I had just wet my hair. So, there's a lot of like, it was really droopy, really wet, pretty little, really puffy. And then right afterwards, I gave myself my own retwist with the towel. And from that point on, here we are now, you know, pretty much almost in April. But now let me go over how and when I, like how I started, when I stopped and why I stopped. I started with the sponge in May, like I said. I continued that process all the way to October where I started to slow down on the consistency of how much I twisted my hair. And I was just like that point, just letting it form, you know. If you wet your hair, not like damp, like not like drench it in water, but like just keep it damp. Uh, when it dries, it should, it'll help them mature faster because the water makes it puff out, the hair, it makes it puff out. And then as it dries, it slowly comes back together until it forms, it, until they start to get compact and tight again. And that's really how, uh, it's really how the maturing process like starts, stops, ends, you know. But you should also shouldn't wet your hair too much because if you consistently wet your hair, especially in the early stages around the first month all the way to at least the sixth month, you shouldn't wet your hair more than like maybe once every month and then like as that time as time passes on you like decrease that time you go to once every three weeks twice every three weeks once every two weeks twice every two weeks you know stuff like that just to like get your hair to start you know train your hair to you know, like get used to the process because if you just start dousing it in water throwing water everywhere you know jumping in pools and stuff like that it's not gonna form they're not gonna lock up because at this point you're just you're really just you're messing up your hair. You're you're causing it because it's gonna puff out. All that water stays compact, essentially, just like holding it in there, and eventually it's just gonna it's just gonna puff out, pop out again, puff out. You're gonna have that the hair everywhere, and you're gonna have to start the process over again. Even at this point, if I like wet my hair way too much, maybe like if I just watered it every single day, eventually it is gonna come out, which uh, which. I mean, it's not the worst thing, but at the same time, you got to be careful with how much you wash your hair because it, like, it's just a process. The other thing is after December, which is when I didn't, I didn't twist my hair at all that entire month. 
main reason is because at that point, like, um, my hair had started to hang, but it was also, not all of them were, like, tightened and tangled and stuff like that. I, there was a few still that were, like, still, like, looking like they were twisted, just tightly woven together, like how you would, like, they would look with a sponge. <clears throat> there were also some in the back that just, like, weren't formed completely because I was messing with it too much. So I just sat there and I just let it do its process the entire month. I just enjoyed it, let it do its thing. Then we get back, but then we get back in the, the January and I was like, dang, I should probably switch because the sponge, it it's good for only a certain amount of time. Once you get to, once your hair gets long enough, the sponge doesn't actually reach your roots anymore. It can only go so far, which is why most people start or switch to the towel method or they just get a retwist. Because the towel method, there, there, there is no, there, there is no amount. I mean, it's just, it's just you know straight twisting. I had switched to that because this really wasn't helping anymore. At this point, I tried it, and all it did was just combine a bunch of the dreads into a giant clump. In the back, in the side, I was like, no, this is not working out anymore. And I was actually doing that for like, I was actually doing that a while for a while too. I just thought it was because I wasn't twisting it enough. But no, after a while, it just starts forming clumps with your hair. It just starts messing it up and stuff like that. So there's really no point in continuing if once your hair gets long enough. Once you see that the clumps are starting to form, if you don't want those clumps, then you need to switch. I recommend that you switch. And I'd recommend you switch to this. You can get a retwist, but it's kind of expensive. It just depends on where you go, though. But at that point, I had switched to the towel, and I had started using more of my gel. I use can the Cantu gel. Because that works, it works, it works good, but the best one is the uh, Jamaican mango and lime. I just started doing that. I let the, uh, I let it dry, you know, I left it alone, months on months at end, and then we get to March, and I finally, that, this is when I stop using the gel again. Because the gel, you really shouldn't put products in your hair a lot with dreads. Because the more products you have in your hair, the longer it's going to take to lock up because of all the product in your hair. And it's also not going to look good if it, you didn't put it in correctly. At the end of it, it'll start looking like kind of moldy, which is disgusting. It's kind of like water in your hair and then getting dread rot, which I'm pretty sure most of y'all know what that is. Um, the one tip that I can give y'all is most people... That you hear the that you hear on videos say stay consistent with how you do it you don't really need to stay consistent like all the way through you can switch up how you do it at any given moment any given time it doesn't matter it's just the, it's just as long as you don't wet your hair too much that's really the only thing just don't wet your hair and don't dye it either you at, at least wait three months before you dye your hair at least three months and even then, it's still risky because all that water that they put in your hair to, like, wash it, and then when they put the dye in, that's really going to mess up your hair. It could even actually untangle it. But the good part about that is that the dye actually causes it to dry out, which will help it lock up. You just got to watch your scalp. Just keep that keep that oiled. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm actually really, really excited that I managed to do this because I'm, I'm, I'm patient on some things, but I'm also impatient on a lot of other things. And this was one of the things where I was just impatient, and then all of a sudden, boom, time just flew by. <laughs> but yeah, um, there are a lot. One, just one more thing. I know I keep saying that, but there's one thing that I would not recommend you do. Is uh. If you're going to get dreads, especially these kinds, stick with the process because picking them out is a hassle, especially when they start to lock up. You get that pick and you just start picking it out, you, you might as well just cut them off. Just snip them off because you're going to go through hair loss, you're going to probably go through bald spots afterwards, you're going to have a lot of, lot, um, you're going to have a lot of like, I mean, your head's going to hurt, guaranteed, because this, these are just a pain to get out. Even in the early first month, it's still a very, it's painful to take these out. But if you do ever want to take them out, then, you know, 
dampen your hair real good, let them like puff out again, and then just like slowly pick through it. It's gonna take a long time. The longer the longer they're locked up, the more time it's gonna take. So you know, if you're not really like trusting the process, I wouldn't wait too long. Or if you're not, you know, enjoying the process, don't wait too long. It's not gonna work out for you. If it, at, at most, it's gonna take, or at least rather, it's gonna take an hour. At most, you can be there for several hours because of how long, which is, it's not a fun thing to go through. And like I said, most people just end up cutting them off if they don't, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just damp your hair, you know, make them circles. Boom, let the, just damp, circles, repeat, damp, circles, repeat, damp, circles, repeat. Don't water too much. Don't dye too early. That didn't come out right. Don't dye your hair too early. Or bleach it for that matter. And uh, watch how much product you use. Keep the essential oils. If your hair doesn't really oil itself up too good. You know, that'll help it grow. But yeah, just enjoy it. That's all, I'm, that's all I have for this video. And it's kind of new. I'm also kind of new to this. I don't talk this much compared to my other videos. And I also kind of sound like everywhere but i'm gonna try to stay consistent from this point on i'm trying my best to stay consistent i'm gonna do updates stuff like that i don't know if i'm gonna do games on this channel i don't really know i'll think i'm still thinking about that but yeah uh i'll definitely stay uh consistent as much as i can and make sure <laughs> i'll make sure that i post on my instagram again I'll put it down to the link. It's going to be AFK underscore Chris with a Z at the end, not an S. And uh, make sure if you like this video to like and subscribe, you know, comment, tell me what I can, what I can do to get better. And uh, I'll see y'all later.